In this demonstration, we're going to look at configuring MultiPath I.O. MultiPath I.O. is a storage network enhancement that provides multiple physical paths from a computer to block storage provider, regardless of whether the storage attaches directly to the storage provider or is available over a network. An MPIO has been built into Windows Server since Server 2008. What we're going to have a look at here is configuring it in Windows Server 2016. At this point here, I've just connected through to my server. My server is an iSCSI initiator and it's currently connecting through to a backend Windows Server 2016 iSCSI target. First thing we need to do to configure Multipath IO is we actually need to install it. So we've come into Server Manager, we'll just come to Add Roles and Features, then we'll select our Next button. On our installation type, we're going to go for Role Based or Feature Based Installation and select Next. Then what we'll do for server selection is we are going to install it on this server, so we'll select next. Then on the server roles, what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to select next again. Then what we're going to do is on our features is we're just going to scroll down and all we're looking for here is Multipath IO. Then we'll select our next button. Then what we'll do is select our install button. Now this is just going to take a couple of minutes just to install, so at this point we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete. Installation is now complete, and as we can see, we've got a little exclamation mark next to this, and this is just telling us that a restart is pending, so we'll just select close. And what we'll do at this point here is we will just restart our server. Now this isn't going to be very exciting to watch, so at this point here we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the reboot is complete and I've logged back in as administrator. So at this point here we'll just go for hardware maintenance unplanned, no, we won't. We'll go for planned and select continue, and that'll do a restart. So we'll return back once the reboot and the login is complete. Our server's back up now. I've logged back in. I've come into Server Manager. So the next thing we'll do at this point here is we'll just come to Tools, and under Tools we'll just go for our Multipath I/O. That brings us into a Wizard. So at this point here, what we're going to do is we're just going to come through here, and all we want to do is discover our multiple paths. So we'll click on our Discover Multipaths. Then at this point here, what we're going to do is we're just going to come in and we're going to start adding support. So we'll come to add a support for our iSCSI devices and we'll select add. This point here, we require another reboot, so we'll say yes. And again, at this point, we'll just pause the presentation and return back once we've rebooted and log back in again. We've now logged back in, we've come into Server Manager, we've just come to Tools, and under Tools we'll go to Multipath I.O. and what we should see is our Multipath I.O. device has now been added. And as we can see, it has been added. So at this point here, that's the end of this demonstration of installing and configuring Multipath I.O. Thank you.